two weeks ago, we asked parishioners about their experience with retreats. Now, let's go ask them about their experience with priests. So who is the most impactful priest in your life? I would have to say Monsignor Wald, and especially when Father Aslan was with him as well. It was when my kids were younger and they were just so involved in all the kids' events and activities. And along with, I just feel like they helped parent my kids. Supporting Catholic education was important. And yeah, I just really miss them. Yeah, well, thanks, Jenny. Yeah. Thanks. Who has been the most impactful person in your life? Uh, Father Ross. Father Ross, and why is that? Because I feel like I can like speak my mind mm -hmm. to him. And he listens to you? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> Father Ross is a great man. Yes. Who's the most impactful priest in your life? Father Pedro. And uh, who is that and why? Uh, Father Pedro was here a couple years ago, I think, or maybe a few years ago. And he, I don't know, he just had a lot of joy to him. And it definitely, it really, like, made me kind of more joyful when he was here. And that's definitely impacted me quite a bit. Good. I love it. Joyful priests. Who is the most anyway. impactful priest in your life? I have to think of the answer. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Father, who's the most impactful priest in your life? You know, I've had a lot for different reasons, but one of them that made a difference is named Monsignor Leone. He was a priest of Denver, Colorado, and just the joy that he approached life with and the way that he interacted uh, was really an inspiration for me and for a lot of other guys. Um, and it was great to get to know him. I got to spend five years with him and uh, learned a lot about joy and about choosing it and attitude and prayer. Um, so he was a good example. Great. Great priests from all over the nation. Or Father Smith. Father Smith? Why is that? Oh no, you're recording. <laughs> he was the one that was here when we started, you know, we grew our family and Father Smith was not the same type of character like uh, Father Ross and mm -hmm. stuff. He was more of a businessman, okay. so he kind of really grew this parish in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think, you know, I worked with him a lot. Okay. I, I've been here painting in this house. Oh, He yeah. would get a bunch of women to come over and paint. Um, helped him with all the church dinners, we had parties downstairs. So I think he, he that way, and then uh, my friend and I were in charge of when he decided to leave, we had a month notice to get his party together. Oh. We're super busy here. We got plenty of oh, so wonderful sorry. things going on. But Father Al Smith, Al Smith, no. What was his first name? John, John P. E. Smith. So he started the uh, Utah. Right. Oh, <laughs> I was at uh, Boise State in NDSU when the tornado came through. Oh, yeah. And we walked in the water to Mass when it was in the auditorium. Oh, wow. There was no church. Yeah. And then one day, Father Smith came to my office and says, let's go to all the banks. He cashed in $380,000 worth of CDs, money that he made at the ballpark. Holy cow. They used, to, they used to be, you know, they had the, up at north of the ballpark, they would volunteer and they would, uh, you know, have concessions. And that's where a lot of this money came from. Plus, all the money that was ever given to Father Smith. He didn't spend. Okay. Uh, I know one time they bought him a car, but one time they bought him a trip to go home and see his family. Mm -hmm. He didn't do it. So <laughs> when he retired, we brought his family here and surprised him with his okay. brother was here and I think the sister-in-law and a, a niece or something. Wow. So, yeah. Wow, what a great man. The, mother from, or the money from the Fudgeston Foundation goes to families that can't afford Catholic school. Okay. Absolutely. And, that's, and, that's still, and that's still going on. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. Over 900,000 in it right now. Holy cow. We get a lot of benefits and other stuff. <laughs> that is one impactful priest for yes. sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you guys. <laughs> Who has been the most impactful priest in your life? There are many. Uh, so this is hard, but uh, Father Jason Kern in Winona uh, okay. impacted my life tremendously. And why is that? What happened? Yeah. Uh, I was in a big time of transition uh mm -hmm. moving to winona and everything new and uh he just really was a father figure to me and just so so genuine and when he spoke to me i heard uh the father mm. beautiful yeah. fathers are fathers great <laughs> so who is your most wait <laughs> who's the most impactful priest in your life 
I would say it would have to be Father Al Bitts. Why is that? I think it was um, when my husband and I were first married and we had our small children and we were at St. Mary's and I don't know, it just felt like he was very welcoming and I think we both were really going through a stronger conversion experience during that time, just really drawing closer to our faith. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and a lot of times when you're having your children baptized or whatever, sometimes that can happen, but, um, and I don't know, he just really spoke to me in some really powerful ways. So, yeah, really I would good. say Father I love bits. Father. I love Father Bits. He's not. a good man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dennis, who's the most impactful priest in your life? Right. Probably, probably Father Bill Sherman. Okay. Who's, who's that? Uh, he was the, when I first met him, he was the head priest at the Newman Center at NDSU. And he was very good to all the, uh, college students never was high strong or easy going yeah and help a lot of people out yeah yeah and you enjoyed him because because he's just easy to talk to yeah and, you know, I, I hung around the Newman Center a lot I, okay. I lived there for a little while too one year and uh, uh, you see how he acted with all the other students and, yeah. and a lot of students uh, hung out there you know, some did their studies there and such and a little social life yeah. and, and uh, he was always, always welcome everybody. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your toast. <laughs> Cody, what's, who's the, who's the most impactful priest that you've had in your life? Father Ross. Why is that? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> got me. You got me. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. What's, what's, um, what's, what's it been like to serve him over the years? Just helping him out mm -hmm. with different things. Yeah. Good. You know, and it's just, and you enjoy doing that. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. It's the super volunteer Cody. <laughs> Got it. Who's been the most impactful priest on your life? In your life? I have to see Monsignor Wall. I liked him because he was a no nonsense type of guy. Nothing fake, phony or fake about him. Yes. And I would have to say Monsignor Wall too for the same reason. It, everything was pretty much black and white, and it was. You know, knew where you stood. Yes, yes. Monsignor Wald, great person from Napoleon. Yes. So was I. So am I. That's why. <laughs> so who is has been the most impactful priest in your life? After giving it some thought, uh, Pope John Paul II was Heck the yes. most impactful. Yes. yes. Great. And why is that? Why would that be? Because of the theology of the body. And he was a priest for one week. Okay. When I became a Catholic, <laughs> so that was nice. I love that. That's yeah. great. I love it. Pope John Paul II. Yeah. 